You see where we at. Fucking nothing. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Man, it's been a minute since I made a video. Last video I made was um cutting up the uh, the downpipe that came with the turbo kit because I'm gonna be doing a hood dump. Still haven't gotten that welded, and I'm gonna pretty much be breaking down to y'all why. So here we go. This was an update video that I've been planning to make for the last month. Um, just gonna post up on my uh, Fox body, baby. And of course, uh, still gotta get that going. It is now February 5th. I haven't been able to do much with either one of the two projects, builds, whatever, between my bike or my Mustang due to the simple fact that your boy don't got much money. Yeah, nah, um, well, I'm handling responsibilities first, so that's, that's the main thing. Responsibilities obviously come first before any projects or things of that nature. Um, I've had a, a lot of things going on in my life in the last six months. Um, a lot of things in terms of, um, I don't want to get too deep, you know, to, um, just, uh, family. My life is changing, so whether you follow me on Instagram, on my Instagram, obviously, I'll drop it below. I'm having a daughter. I'm actually having a kid. I'm going to be a dad. Uh, she is expected to be in this earth in about another three months So uh, something I've kind of kept pretty low-key um, I didn't even let anybody really know in terms of my social media until I did a gender review I'll probably try to put the clip in right here Two, For y'all to, to for y'all to see the quick snippet of uh, um, Finding out what it was obviously I I wanted a boy, um, but I'm not mad. I'm not going to love my daughter any less because I'm getting a daughter. Um, it's my child. It's my first one. It's actually my firstborn child, and it's also my uh, girlfriend's first child. So it's our first kid together, which is pretty dope. Um, can't wait. Um, you know, I get to go ahead and uh, show her the ropes. I get to get her involved in all this stuff and show her what her father is into and i get to be a pretty cool dad in terms of what i had growing up so that's a little, little personal for y'all but um and then yeah so on top of that um and then been dealing with i would say semi-legal issues in terms of my personal household um as you know last year uh when i did an update last year uh ended up moving in to getting a new house um and yeah at the end of 20 22 we were in 2023 so yeah no 21 or 22 no the end of 21 and then i made the update video in the beginning of 22 saying that you know your boy moved and uh, also happy holidays uh i know i skipped over i think christmas new year's so hopefully y'all had a good christmas hopefully y'all had a good new year's uh hopefully your first month of the new year's been going good uh mine's um despite you know, me saying that, you know, I can't really have money to finish up my builds as soon as I want to. It's been a pretty good year so far. I cannot complain, you know, as much as this sucks because, you know, this is what I love to do. This is my hobbies. This is what gives me content for the channel to try to, you know, obviously, you know, just do that. You know, obviously it sucks, you know, and I love this car. You know, this thing has been in my life since I was born. Um, I've learned how to drive in this car. I've done street racing in this car. I've gotten a lot of love and attention um, in my city because of this car. Um, so yes, I'm hurt. Yes, I'm upset that it won't be done in a timely fashion that I thought it would because it's actually been one year since I've started the turbo install that then spiraled into a whole lot of uh, restoration, customization, which I'm not really mad about because the car needed it. It's been original from the get go. Uh, the last previous owners, I think I've mentioned before, handed down through the family, have um, really messed this car up worse than I ever can. More worse than I ever would, actually. Um, like the uh, uh, one video I showed that the engine and training is not in line because of the body, because of accidents. I had to cut pieces inside the engine just to make the manifold mount up and work and everything. 
yeah, see all that, whatever. Don't need to get into that. Um, but yeah, moving into the house um, now, you know, in terms of financials, I'm taking care of that. You know, got a got mortgage, water, gas, electric. The water for me, actually, I got two different water bills. Um, so doing that, and then also I haven't even told y'all your boy's becoming a barber. I am currently now two months in school. Uh, I started in December, something I've been really kind of keeping to myself. Um, don't really need a lot of people to know because I've actually got rid of a lot of people in my life. Um, it's all for the better. You know, at the end of the day, it's like, you gotta take, you gotta put yourself first. And if you're doing more for people than they're doing for you or that they're able to do for you and all that they're and all that they're doing is take 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 and all you're doing is giving and they're not able to reciprocate that energy um unfortunately uh it could hurt you know it's gonna be heavy on the heart but you gotta do what you gotta do what's best for you and obviously now that i'm about to have a little family i have to absolutely put my family first which then includes i have to put myself first to make sure that my family's good since i am the man of the house and i will be the protector provider all that shit and your boy about to be 25 next week it's crazy i'm i'm young for all this to be happening but you know it is what it is um i think i've matured quickly than i was supposed to do to my life growing up and you know whatever so it's like i'm already a few years beyond my age anyway the way i think the way you know i act so it's not it's, it's crazy but it's not at the same time so it is what it is oh yeah so barber school i'm putting i'm paying for that 100 percent uh, myself, I have no loans. Well, I guess it technically is a loan, not really, um, but it's being paid directly to the school. Um, so I'm making monthly payments, you know, paying my way to school, um, which is not bad because I was able, you know, I did a, I did, a, I was able to do a pretty big down deposit uh, back during the holidays. So at least I'm, I'm somewhat okay. Like if I was to have a bad month and I couldn't pay it. I could actually be forgiven for I think about a good month, month and a half because I've been, you know, I made pretty big uh, down deposit and I made at least two um, payments in the beginning that I, or one, pretty big one. Um, so it was a little more than I was supposed to. So I'm a little bit ahead of the payments just in case I gave myself a cushion. Um, but barber school has been going really great. Um, I'm loving it. I'm not getting discouraged. I actually made a YouTube channel for it, which I'll be in the description below. A YouTube channel and an Instagram. I want y'all to go check it out. Just dropped the video today. It was nothing crazy. It was just an introduction to the, you know, to the channel, what it could be, because I didn't want to mix that life with this life. You know, I didn't want to mix the two. So that's going on. So make sure, you know, if you follow me, if you like me, you rock with me. You know, go go check it out for me. Um, and if you don't, at least share it to somebody who you think will. You know, it doesn't matter. If you don't like it, share it to somebody who you think will like it. It's all appreciated no matter what. Um, so that's going great. And then I also got a uh, full-time job working in a salon. So right now, the money I'm making from that, um, all of it, I mean, like I said, I got bills. <laughs> boy got bills boy got responsibilities boy got a baby on the way so that's you know a hundred percent of where my money is going towards right now hundred percent of my money is going towards making sure the responsibilities are taken care of first and the fun now has to come last unfortunately but i'm not hurt um mainly reason why i'm not hurt and i'm not stressing because i actually have a really really supportive partner um she's been the best um so you might i might throw up on the channel soon you're gonna see her whatever throw a couple videos obviously when the baby's born she's been really really super helpful um and really supportive she is you know she's a go-getter herself she's a hustler she pretty much works for herself as well um well she has some you know she has something to where yeah she works out of a salon out of a shop but if she was, it doesn't matter where she goes. You know, she could take, you know, anyway, she's a nail tech. As you said, she's the nail tech. And she is very, very great at what she does. And so she's like 100% behind the, you know, I want you to work for yourself. I want you to, you know, keep the hustle. You know, you have hobbies, you have things that you love. I want you to keep that, I'm not taking it away from you. You know, she wants me to keep going. So having somebody 100% supportive in your corner 
that is a significant other that is your literally your partner is the best thing in the world and i really i dude i, I can't like words can't really explain it's it, you know for a man it is such a good relief it is a huge relief especially in today's world and today's climate where this generation sucks with you know the way relationships are going and things of that nature so make sure that you have somebody who's in your corner and has your back 100 percent and appreciates you and understands you that will take you the rest of the way i promise you um so she's been really super dope uh, on top of that so that's the only thing that really you know it's like you know it doesn't make me as mad or stressed it's like yo bro that's all right i got it you know things will get better and things have been getting better so i just want to give y'all this update because i ain't been dropping content like i used to i used to be in here banging working things out every week every other week type shit but your boy just been on a grind because your boy's life has changed it's crazy um and honestly i can't wait you know until my daughter's here it's just gonna be dope it's gonna be fun uh first time fatherhood hell yeah i'm nervous as, i'm nervous as hell boy but i know the type of person i am and i know the type of childhood i had and i don't want to uh replicate the childhood that i had which is why i became such a dope person so she's gonna have a really really dope dad and you know the ride-alongs and things like that you know she's gonna be helping me out working on the cars and you know I, it would be really dope if i could get her you know get a project car to build for her for when she turns 16 um or 15 really i don't care man she could be nine years old and driving that's how old i was when i first started driving anyway um so you know it's gonna be really dope um i can't i can't wait for that you know i didn't come from a real huge car family just a little bit of a car family just a little bit uh but nobody really took it too crazy too far like i want to or like everybody else does um so this is gonna be my little car family that i'm creating and i even want to get my girl into it she don't really care about cars like that like she hates my focus like oh it's too loud too this too that i'm like whatever but i actually do want to put her in like a dope ass car like i would say a nice um like maybe a 98 a 99 integra or some shit like it would be really dope or maybe a honda 2000 you know maybe I, no no i wouldn't put her in the s2000 she don't appreciate cars like that so definitely like two-door integra for sure um that i would, I would do that <laughs> she, yo she really don't care about cars bro it's crazy um so yeah guys that's literally like that's literally where i've been at like and it sucks um but you know in terms of the fox body i'm trying to button up a lot of the little shit like i'm still having trouble um it's in my room the little vacuum block that i got off amazon as a birthday gift from last year they don't tell you the um i'm just gonna place y'all right there my arm's starting to hurt they don't tell you the size of the the big um ports like the um the thread size or anything like that they tell you but it's a lie um they say it's three eighths mpt and then when i go and get a three eighths mpt it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway this shit does not fit bro so i've been struggling on trying to i found a couple websites where i want to find you know, I'm gonna have to buy and test out two different sizes, but like I said, with money, it's like, it's like, yo, they're like 10, 15 dollars each. I'm like, damn. But I gotta figure out that size one way or another. Um, actually, I did find on Amazon, somebody did actually find the correct size. So, because I just, you know, for the brake booster, I wanna use the right end side of the, um, well, when you're sitting down in the car, it's left, but when you're looking at it from the engine bay, the right side. Uh, I want to get a uh, 90 degree angle so that the brake booster line could go straight into that. And then in terms of the other side for the vacuum tree into the uh, intake manifold, I might just keep the regular straight fitting that came with the vacuum block or um, 
uh, might have to find another 90 degree or like a slight, you know, maybe like a um, like a 45 degree. I don't even think those are real. So I'll just either keep it straight or go 100% 90 um, so that none of those lines are getting um, stressed and they don't be prone to early breakage and brittling and all that nature. So that's pretty much like what like what's my idea with that because I want to, you know, I want to do things right the first time. I don't want to just throw together for the sake of it, even though I kind of want to be in a rush just a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, I got to get the um, the uh, hood dump pipe from the turbo right out. I got to get that welded up. It's a simple weld, but I know it's not going to be cheap. So um, I did reach out to my friend. Um, I don't know if he's like, if he wants to 100% do it or not. He said he wasn't that confident, so I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna force nobody to do it. Like, if you don't want to, if you feel like you can't, you know, I'm not mad at you. I ain't gonna force you, it is what it is. Um, so hopefully the exhaust shop that I know, uh, I got two in mind. I could try to just pull up and be like, hey, I just need these two uh, welded together. And uh, that's it. So, but yeah, man, this, this, is, this is what's going on so far. Um, and then obviously I gotta get the um, steering shaft. Oops, I guess I ran out of time on that one. Then I gotta get the steering shaft and um, then I can start slowly putting things together. Still gotta clean up the inside a little bit. All that fun shit, so. Yeah, we getting there, man, little by little. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not stressing. Um, I'm stressing, but I'm not stressing at the same time, but. Just to wrap all that up, this is the huge update. Pretty huge. I've uh, just wrapped up my life in the last six to eight months. Uh, six or seven. We'll just say six. I just wrapped up my life of uh, in six months in this little video. So, but yeah, man, just stay tuned. Just, you know, if anything, if y'all could just run it up. All my old videos, just run it up, share, like, comment, subscribe, huge, like, just share, just hugely share, like, just those things, run it up, and don't forget to go hit my socials, and don't forget to go hit my second channel, my barbering channel, because that shit, you know, that channel might be carrying more content than this one will be able to in the next six months plus of my life, so all of that. Is gonna be in the description below. Everything, everything, everything. So, all right, y'all. I'm gonna holla at y'all later. You know, obviously, if I'm able to make a video, I will make a video. Um, I've been trying to stay active on my Instagram. Ain't really much for me to post. It has been brick. It is winter in the Northeast, so it's kind of brick. It's kind of hard to make content during the winter months, but I do plan on. Um, trying to hit a couple shows come this spring so like in april once all the nice little car shows start popping up like the real big car shows because around here where i live the little local meets are cool once in a while but i want to really hit like the big big shows um so a couple of those are coming up so i do plan on driving out there maybe by myself maybe bring um my baby mama um and yeah, definitely gonna hey, get like hella content for that. You know, that, that shit's gonna be fun. I wanna be able to start doing that. So, but hey, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.